GitHub Copilot is a great tool to increase productivity for developers once you know how to use it. My name is Brogain and welcome to .NET Mesh Tree. If you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure to do that now, that way you will never miss a future update. I have a detailed course on Udemy that will go through more advanced concept with GitHub Copilot and with more examples in Visual Studio Code and Visual Studio. I have link of that in the description, but for today's video, we will quickly cover the best use cases for GitHub Copilot with examples. When we have to interact with GitHub Copilot, the first way is to use the chat option that is available in Visual Studio Code. There you can write commands on what you want Copilot to do. We will be using the workspace here and we want to scaffold a new workspace. We will say create an HTML project. Once you press enter here, you will see a simple HTML project with index.html, script.js and style.css. If you select create a workspace here, it will ask you that where do you want to save that. Let me save that here. And that will save all the files that were displayed in the structure here to your desired location. And perfect. With that we know how to use the chat for copilot and we have used workspace command and new command inside that to scaffold a new project. For the next example here, let's say we want to add charts in index.html from chart.js. Now by default the files that you have open here, Copilot already knows about those files and give you suggestions based on that. Let me close index here, open the chat and right here I will ask Copilot how can I add chart from chart.js. It is a simple question, so Copilot will give you all the suggestion on what you need to do along with some sample code. Now if you notice the code here in the HTML, it is creating a different title here and that is because it does not know the index.html that we have in our project. But here if you use the add workspace command and then if you ask the same question, now it will examine your workspace and give you a solution that is personalized to your workspace. Now you can see it is saying that add it to index.html and then in script.js that you have, you will add the javascript file. Also now if you take a look at the html here, it is using the same h1 and p tag that we have and this is way more optimized than the result that we had before. So what we can do is let me open script.js here, add the code here and the index.html, let me copy this code, go back and paste that. With that if I save and run the project here, you will see that chart will be up and running in less than 2 minutes. And perfect, you can see it is up and running here with some sample data. So that is the power of add workspace, with that command it will analyze your current workspace and give you with optimal suggestion based on your workspace. Copilot is great to add things based on your comments. Let's say you add a comment here and you are like add a function that calculates number of days between two dates. You press enter here and you can see Copilot is giving you a suggestion on what could be done. If you press tab here, you can accept that and that way you can get up and running easily by adding comments and based on that when you press the next line, Copilot will give you a suggestion based on that comment. That is a great feature that you can use even when you are working with HTML or your custom programming language like .NET, Java, TypeScript or anything else. We already know the chat option with Copilot and also based on comments here, it gives us meaningful suggestion. Another way of interacting with Copilot is by using inline chat. Let's say we have the paragraph tag here and when you select that, 
in Visual Studio Code, you can see the two star. If you select that, it will open an inline chat for Copilot. Now there is also a shortcut for that, that is Control I. If you press that, it will open the inline chat here and you can tell something like increase font here and it will basically increase the font size. You can see the result here. If you do not like the suggestion, you can regenerate and create a new response by clicking here. But because I am only asking the font size, that looks good. You can toggle the change here. That way you can see what it was before and what is the new update. If that looks good, then you can accept or discard the change. So that is another way you can interact with Copilot in Visual Studio Code. Next thing that I want to show here is when you are working with HTML or anything else with autocomplete, Copilot does a great job as well. We will write some facts on Harry Potter. Now when you press enter here, because it already knows you are writing some things on Harry Potter, you can see it is giving you suggestions based on that. Even the closing element of UL that was missing, it added that and perfect, that looks good. Now let's say if you want to add an image here, you can do that as well. If you write IMG tag, you can see in the SRC, it is trying to give you a suggestion for some Harry Potter image. Let me open the inline chat with Copilot and let me ask to get an image from Wikipedia. We can write here get an image from Wikipedia and let's take a look at that. Perfect. Once we accept that, it will be available here and let me take a look at that. Perfect. We have a random image of Harry Potter and that looks good. But the autocomplete or auto suggestions with Copilot are super great. If I say here biography of Tim Cook, let me press enter. You will be able to see the suggestions that are being provided here. Once you press enter here and you can see because we added image from Wikipedia for Harry Potter, it learned that and then it provided the same suggestion for Tim Cook as well. Autocomplete is fantastic and I use that almost every day with my day to day programming. For the next feature of Copilot, let me go back to JavaScript here and let me add one more function here. Now this function is already there in your application but you do not know what it does. You can select that here in the chat or even in the inline chat here. You can reference that selection by using the pound sign and then selection and you can say explain. It will analyze that selection and it will explain you on what it is doing. You can see the function calculates number of weekdays between two dates. And when it says weekdays, it is only Monday to Friday and that is pretty accurate. You can even modify that using Copilot to give some extra suggestion or add some more functionalities. So if there is any code in your application that you do not know what it does, you can select that and you can directly write hash selection and explain that and it will explain the other function as well that calculates number of days between two dates and that looks good. Now for other example here where we have the method here, if I remove the return here, that means the function will not return anything and then if I ask copilot to fix that using the forward slash fix here, it will display on what it will fix and you can see it is returning back the count. That way you can use copilot to help you identify some issues and potentially how to fix that. When you work with copilot, it gives you multiple suggestion. Like after the comment here, I have add bootstrap card design. You can see it is giving me one suggestion. I can accept that or I can go to the next design to see what suggestion I like. Based on whichever one you like, you can accept that. And if you do not like that, you can continue with your manual code and Copilot will learn from that 
and it will give you more meaningful suggestions down the road. But by default, if there are multiple suggestions that are available, you can always go through them to find out the one that you like the most. One thing that I love about Copilot is it helps you to fix many issues. Like right now in my logic, if I add calculate here and if I go to chart, it should display me a chart. But it does not display if I do F12 here, it says chart is not defined. All I can do is I can copy this message here, I can go to chat here, and I can say look into my workspace and try to fix this particular error. Let me paste that. It will go through my code and tries to find what could be the issue and perfect. It finds out that because script.js is defined before chart.js, that is causing the exception. What we can do is we can copy the result here. Let me remove this. Let me add that here. Save that. Go back here. And let me try again with some numbers. Calculate. And perfect. Our chart is working as expected. So you can see how Copilot is able to scan through your workspace and helps you fix some of the common error message. Finally, what I want to show you is GitHub Copilot will also help us with the commit message. Let me copy this button here and let me add one more button here. I will call that download image and let me fix the ID here, download image. If I save that and because my project is already in source control where I have to enter the commit message, I have generate commit message with Copilot. That way it will scan through what are the changes and it sees that okay we are adding a download image button to index.html and that is pretty accurate. If you want to modify you can modify that or else you can directly use the message provided by Copilot to commit your changes.